What's up friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pam and today we are unboxing some plants from the fabulous Steve's Leaves. Sorry, I forgot to turn the fog machine off. So it's a weird day here in New England. Uh, today we have had um, sun, we have had rain, we have had hail, we had a little bit of snow, and we've had horrific wind. Uh, yesterday there was thunder, so um, the light is probably gonna go all over the place in this video, I apologize. And your girl is very white, so um, it's an exposure issue. You see how I'm gradually getting ghostlier? It's because the sun's coming back out. Turn me down just a, okay. I love that Steve's always puts a live plants sticker on their box. I feel like that goes a long way toward having your plants not be ruined. I mean, how are people supposed to know that something affected by temperature is in the box if you don't tell them? This is probably my third order from Steve's, maybe. Maybe fourth. I think it's the third. Third or fourth. I don't know. I love ordering from Steve's. I have never had an issue with them. They always ship quickly. The plants always get here in good shape. I feel like I hope I'm not cursing myself right now, um, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. I ordered two plants. Like most of us, I lost a lot of work in this whole pandemic thing, so um, I, I couldn't go crazy, but I did want to A, support a plant business that I really like, and uh, B, I needed to feel better and less dead inside. So I ordered some, some plants. I ordered a few more too, but they won't be here for a while. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> this beautiful goth plant right here is a begonia hollows eve and i was on the waiting list for a restock for this for it must have been a long time and i had really just forgotten about it so when i got the email that it was in stock i just meant to look at it you know i just i was just gonna look never works that way does it all right let's bask in her glory mm. I love how like the leaves go from this dark green color to this amazing black. It's like a, it's like a reddish black, like a blood red black. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And everything looks great. I mean, like it's a beautiful plant. So that's really awesome. No, your girl can't turn down a goth plant, you know? Like if I ever come across a black plant and I'm like, you know what? I'm over black plants. You know that someone has actually snatched my body and I am a clone. Please kill me. Okay, here's number two. Oh, oh my God, it's huge. Oh, it's so big and it's beautiful. That's what she said. do they do that this is just paper and this plant is enormous and not a single leaf is damaged I just... Steve's Steve's Steve Darren, everyone that works there. Wow. Wow. Let me just collect myself and I will show this to you. So this beauty, it actually looks a little different than I expected because I only saw the top of the leaf in the photos and I didn't realize that the underside was this incredible reddish, orangey, pinky color. It's like a dusky, Ooh, oh God, it's gorgeous. Okay, so then the top of the leaves are this dark, like greenish, bronzy, it, it's really difficult to describe. It's almost, it's pretty accurate to what the camera is showing, but you're missing out on just a bit of the color shift. 
Wow. We'll get the Kaylee head test. Hold on. Okay. So yeah, it's uh, pretty much a face size leaf that uh, got here with no problem. I mean, I cannot get over how well this shipped in just wrapped paper. That's how you know that they, look at, look at, um, like, did my ancestors live in a place where there was no sun at all? Filming on your phone is so fun. It's great. I mean, but let's get back to what's important right now, and that is this begonia. I forgot to tell you the name of the begonia because I was so stunned. It is the begonia taconite or taconite. Taconite. I'll put it on the screen because I'm not totally sure how to say that word. There's a little baby leaf growing in right here. This is a really happy and healthy plant. These are both beautiful. So these were both around the same price, I think. I mean, they're like very complimentary too. So I guess they are both pretty gothy, right? Oh, they look like bats. Ah, ah, ah. Bats don't make that noise. I'm so happy that it's plant ordering season again. I also always like to take a little bit of the paycheck that I get from YouTube and put it back into the channel. And I know you guys love watching unboxings and that's how I justify buying myself plants. Isn't that fun? I also wanted to open this up really quickly because I also ordered some springtails for my terrarium build video that's coming up with Aaron. Okay, here's a little receipt. So this was $10. It's, um, it's a bug, bug spork, it's a, it's a, bu a bug shovel. Ew, cool. So this is a tiny culture of springtails. So what this is, is just a bunch of little springtails in some dirt and I'm able to put these in my terrariums and these little guys will do all the cleanup duty for me. So if there's any kind of rotting vegetation or decaying matter in there, they clean it up and this will keep my terrarium from getting moldy and things like that. Um, Cause I had a really nice one and it died, it like got completely blanketed in mold and it killed the plants pretty quickly. And I was really sad about it. So I'm very excited to have these gross little guys are in need of something like this definitely do not order this from Amazon because everything I found including um, you know they who shall not be named reptile slash plant provider service um, were quite expensive and these little guys were ten dollars I think the shipping was free it did take like five or six days to get here but I'm noticing that is the case with absolutely everything I have ordered no surprise there I imagine so there we have it, beautiful new begonias from Steve's Leaves. Um, I'm super excited. My mom actually just surprised me with a little bit of fun money. Um, so I think that I may revisit Steve's website and scoop up a few more things. So uh, you may see that coming up soon. All right, my darling friends, thank you for watching this. Thank you for opening these plants with me. Thank you for all that you do to support me so that I'm able to occasionally buy myself some freaking plants. I love you. I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.